you're thinking about how the modules may be helping your group, it's useful to remind ourselves of how they're meant to work. The idea is that they help you to reflect as a group on what needs to be done, plan how you can best do it, practically deliver your activities as a group, and review how well it's gone and any learning. This also includes identifying any barriers to action as part of the process and thinking about how to overcome these. It's about developing new knowledge and skills and sharing it between committee members. And it's about using this to improve the quality of how well you meet the community's needs. So the modules will help you analyse the different aspects of running your group, including the opportunities and challenges involved in that. They will help you to develop a shared picture across the whole committee of what you need to do and how. Using this understanding, you can assess the feasibility and practicality of the most important actions you need to take to meet your community's needs. and ultimately produce a clear route map for developing your group's core knowledge and skills to make it easier to achieve your aims. The modules are also about developing practical tools. The module exercises help you to connect the organisational issues to possible solutions. The fact sheets and other resources help you make use of and share that knowledge. The planning templates produce clear plans that you can all use together to stay on course and review things as a group as they develop. Whilst also building the skills of individual members with specific roles and strengthening the committee's collective effectiveness. So in module 10, we want you to think about what difference are your learning sessions making. They should be increasing the knowledge in your group so that individuals are able to work more effectively within the group and that this should improve the way the committee works as a whole. Ultimately, this should help strengthen confidence in your work from partners and funders.